Okay, today I'm going to show you all how to upload a G120 into TIA Portal. So first, open up TIA Portal, turn on your VFD, connect an Ethernet cable from your PC to the G120, and let's get to it. So now that we got TIA Portal open, at the bottom left you're going to click Project View, and then we're going to find our net card. My net card is at Intel. Whatever your net card is, you're going to need to uh, select that and then press Update Accessible Devices. Now, my G120 is completely factor reset, so it should only have a MAC address. The reason why I'm showing you all this is if your G120 doesn't have an IP on it physically, then you can't do an upload. So this would be something you would need to either ask your customer or if you just want to set an IP and then change it later, this is just the fastest way to get an upload of that G120. So first thing, find your G120, which I know this is it because I looked up the MAC address off of the unit and it's here in the project now too. So now go down to online and diagnostics, go down to functions, assign an IP, and then we're gonna just type in an IP address that you can remember. So 192.168.0.10. And then 255, 255, 0, 0, and then assign IP. At this point, now your uh, G120 will have an IP address that your TI portal project can now recognize. So now at this point, we have an IP address, so we can see it right here. We now want to go to Project, New, say Upload G120. And then at this point, you're going to click on Upload G120, this piece of paper. And then you're going to go to Online. And then you'll do Upload Devices New Station. And then you're going to search. After you choose your net card, and remember we set it up for 10, 192.168.0.10. It should then show up in this device update. Now it sees that 192.168.0.10. There's our MAC address that I see on the unit. Now I just press Upload once I select it. And it's going to ask me, since I haven't set an IP address on my PC to a 192.168 network, it's going to ask, do you want me to set an alternate IP address that you can access the G120? And I'm going to say yes. Now it's going to upload the G120. And as long as you have an IP address on the drive, you should be able to upload the G120. So now we can go down to device and configuration, see that the G120 is physically in here, and we could just click go online. All right, we have uploaded the G120. Thanks for watching.